Hello the friends, Zapperdrabby here. Welcome back to another opening video. It's slightly different in nature as you guys could tell by the thumbnail that it is a little weird. We have some uh, some oddities to open today. We do still have cards though, so we will be getting up, open up some cards too. It has a really nice thing I wanted to show off to you guys. And uh, you know what, we're gonna get started, but it's just me one moment guys. Oh, I'm very sorry if that came in very weird. I thought I switched over the audio to something different and it might have, might not have. So, as you guys can see right in front of you, we have a plethora of things and it's in a slightly different setup. Normally I'm trying to record from up above, but today we just have everything right here. We're trying out something new that we hope will be good and uh, we're not sure. So, first thing I did want to open up was probably the guy in the thumbnail, um, good old uh, Mr. Meme himself. Look, he's in a box. He's in a box, guys, and he can't tell. Um, there it is. So I was like, wait a second, it should be focusing on him. There you go. He's in a box. He doesn't know how this barrier got created, but he is in there, and uh, he is like, how do I get out of here? But we're gonna bust him out. We're gonna open it and see what he is. I know some people are like, no, don't open it. It's not worth as much. But, I'm sorry, we live in an open open um, figures uh, household here. So we open our figures up. And um, this has, tells you what's in the set, which is some Detective Pikachu, some Psyduck, a Bulbasaur, another Detective Pikachu, a Mewtwo, and that Mr. Meme himself. So pretty cool stuff. I must say, I'm going to set that aside. And we're going to try to get him out of here. Try to get him out of this this barrier that the uh, the packaging company decided that he needs to be in. I actually don't think he's ever supposed to remove, be removed out of this. Because the way they got him in there, you literally have to just to get him out. And he falls down. Falls down flat. So here we go. We have Mr. Mr. Meme himself saying, what is this? What is this blocking me? I can't. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, I'm too I'm too close to the camera now. Okay, okay. Back off, Mr. Meme. Back off, Mr. Meme. But look at these details. This thing is crazy looking. Um, I'm sorry if my lighting's not the best. But these things are, are very, very well done. Very little scuffs, which was probably mostly because I pushed it out of the uh, the box. Very cool. And they do stand, I believe. They do stand up here on their own. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe maybe mine's the one that falls from the bicycle. Oh yeah, he is, he is. He does not want to stand very well at all. So, that's something to worry about if you're opening up your own. I think we got him to stand. He's standing back there. He's standing back there. That's awesome. Now, we do have other figures to share, though. Um, this one's a lot easier to open, I believe. Oh, maybe not. I gotta use my, my handy-dandy uh, uh, dan most dangerous weapon in the world. The uh, good old uh, box cutter. Most dangerous weapon in the world to bust out the rest of these guys. And this one actually is pretty cool because it looks like they come with the background um, with it so this one sets it up so you have the cardboard background to set these guys in there we go we have Mr. Mime in there next we shall start with a detective Pikachu show you guys this brilliant deduction Sorry, my camera is like going to sleep on me. Is it gonna focus on him? It does not like Pikachu. It does not want to focus on the chew. There we go. There we go. I had to just cup it. I had to cup it. So as you can see, this is some crazy detail on this, and I just throw them on the ground because apparently I don't care for detectives or Pikachu's. Sand's a little weird. But he's waving. Hey guys. 
and his eyes seem to be looking at the same thing. So there we go, we have a Pikachu waving high. He sits on his own. Uh, now let's go with the the main character dude. I'm kidding, he's not the main character dude. He's the, uh, the... Wow. None of these really want to come out. They must have made this and then like sealed these guys in here. Wow, they do not... They do not want to pop out at all. As you guys can see, I guess. And definitely not the Psyduck. I'm gonna give this thing a headache. It's never gonna be able to... See again. There we go, there we go, there we go. That plastic sucks, it's mean. Uh, but we're gonna check out Psyduck next here. There we go. Got the, the look of a Psyduck on him. Doesn't look like I damaged him too much getting him out of the plastic though. Now I feel like I need a Lazy Susan to show these off properly. That and better lighting. We got the yellowest of yellows, Psyduck. And he has a, he has a little skip to his step, you see that? One, st one foot up, one foot down. We have the propaganda itself, a Bulbasaur. Very cool, the bud looks awesome on him. I'm hoping I'm showing these off well enough. Little Bulbasaur, very cool. We'll show off the Colo of Ludis. And this thing also looks like it's, it's taken a step, which is kind of interesting. We go got the Colo of Ludis with the table service. Look at the fur texture, it's so cool. And then the hands. Those hands giving you your drink, that's a little creepy. And this one's arm is just bent. Oh, did I do that? Oh, they actually bend over. Ooh, look at that, it wants a hug. <laughs> I don't think they all, they all can do that, but Ludicolo definitely can. How does this one stand? On which foot is he standing? Um, looks like on no foots. Nope, not that foot. I guess it's the back foot there. There we go. He's standing. He's standing. There we go. We have our little diorama here. We're going to show off the other Pikachu, which I kind of believe has a lazy eye. I didn't purposely buy the lazy eye one, but... Like, his right eye really looks off to me. Like, he's looking off at the, uh, where I, where I have the logo over there. Where, while, uh, the other one was not doing that. There we go, he has a detective hat. And they have it where it's rosy cheeks more so than, uh, the other thing. So there we go, another detective Pikachu just sitting here, chilling. As I knock over Ludicolo. Oh, I'm playing dominoes now. I'm playing dominoes now. And we do have one more. One more in the packaging. Stay, Pikachu. Stay. Stay, Ludicolo. Ludi. Ludicolo! Stay. Come on, I don't want you. <laughs> wow. The way it serves coffee to this Pikachu. <laughs> Wow, I cannot get this thing to stand up. There we go. It's standing in the corner. We'll see how long it stays there. Put a Pikachu here in front of it. Try not to knock it over. And then we have number 150, Mr. Mewtwo himself. If it wants to focus on him. It doesn't really want to focus on him. And it's not an auto, auto focus. So I'm gonna have to hold him like this and keep clicking on it until it focuses. There we go. We have Mewtwo himself. The detail on this thing is crazy cool. That thing just looks fierce. This movie is gonna be awesome.
Amazing. And that's our last figure. Oh, and that one actually stands upright. That one stands upright. That's cool. So we'll stick this over here on Eevee because I see that it is still in the shot. There we go. On top of Snorlax's face. Now, let's get to the brilliant deduction card here. Now this one, um, I think this is sold in two different, two different packs. Um, I chose this one, uh, which I think I got at Target, um, over the one at GameStop because of one thing in particular, and that is a way, yeah, I just kind of knocked over everything, okay, a way to collect the set. That's why I got this version over the other version, is because it has a way to collect the set. And there is that card. There we go. So let's look at the brilliant deduction first here. We have Pikachu thinking. He's looking at the top four cards of his deck. He's putting one of them in his hand, and he's shuffling the other cards back into his deck. Now, honestly, this thing would be broken if it was an ability instead of an attack. <laughs> but, uh, that's what we have Jirachi for. Does the same thing, but it's uh, an ability. Uh, so that's very cool. I thought I'd go ahead and start this book. Which, actually, I guess I should show you the book, right? This is a pretty cool book. It already has Detective Pikachu on it. Has all the, the outlines of Detective Pikachu on it. Has the official logo on the back. Um, and my face, you can see. Uh, so it looks like a pretty cool book. Um, I'm sure it has more than 18 pages in it, which is what the set number is, but I guess that just means do the set and the promos, and uh, you'll probably be able to get all the uh, pages filled. So we will go ahead and start this off with the Detective Pikachu card in there, and we'll just continue adding to that as we open up our packs. Sorry, let me get this to focus back there so we don't have just randomness. Um, and we have a coin that came with this as well. These are pretty cool coins. Has the Detective Pikachu hat on it. And I'm just showing rainbows here. So it's a pretty cool coin. Plastic per usual. Now they are giving us one Burning Shadows pack and two Detective Pikachu packs. I honestly would have preferred two to three more Detective Pikachu packs, but, you know, they have to get rid of these somehow. So you guys can go ahead and have that code. We'll do the pack trick and get rid of this Burning Shadows. Energy. It's probably going to be... I was going to guess Grass, but I was going to guess Fairy too, so I didn't know what to guess, and we didn't guess. We're going to start things off with an Inke, as you guys can see. There we go, an Inke with the Constrict and Tackle. Dewpider is ambushing some things. A Tangela with the Bind Down. A Hoot Hoot is seeing through ya. Sandy Gas absorbing life because, you know, sometimes you just gotta sit there and absorb life. A Honey Gathering Rabambi. Soul Rock with the Double Draw and Escape Rope. There we go, we have the reverse uh, Magikarp, a little bit different than the Magikarp from the Detective Pikachu set and our rare in the pack is Scoliopede. Now Scoliopede is one of my favorite mons from that generation. Um, has not really seen good things done with him in the card game though, I will say that factually. But he's pretty slick. We're going to bust open these Detective Pikachu card packs now and see what's in them and look at this we are already panicking we are panicking because we are running into Psyduck right away he is panicking so we are panicking I guess so we have ourselves a Psyduck with the panic Magikarp with Holden still a Charmander charging recklessly and I hope you guys can see that and our rear on the pack is a Panther Miming Mr. Miming Voila. Here you guys go. Go ahead and have a four card booster pack on me. Let's bust open a, another one here. And I, you know what? I might as well give away this pack too. These ones are pretty easy to uh, 
Ooh, sorry. Let me get it to focus back there so you're not like blind. These are these sets are pretty easy to uh, go ahead and collect. There's only 18 cards in them, um, which makes them uh, nice. You know, it's nice and nice little side set. That's why there's only four cards per pack. Um, honestly, I still prefer the extra pack, but it is what it is. But let's go ahead and bust open the next one. We have ourselves a Charmander to start things off with. That beautiful little lizard boy. Little small lizard boy with the reckless charge. We have ourselves a Lickitung. Looks like I skipped one. I skipped the Bulbasaur. I can't be doing that. That's how we find our friends is by finding Bulbasaurs. Now we have this Lickitung, which looks like it has a slight issue across its nose, but it is what it is. And our rare in the pack is the Detective Pikachu himself scouting so he can do those surprise attacks for our rare. Beautiful. And here you guys go. Another code for you to go ahead and redeem on the TCGO. And that is what we have for the opening. I will be getting these cards into my handy dandy binder. I'll probably have these figures on display either behind me or something soon but i want to thank you guys so much for stopping by today to check out our brief uh deduction into the detective pikachu set if you guys do want to see more i have been doing pack a days over on twitter and we are trying to work on gathering things back together getting a better pc for one so that we can uh start uh streaming more on twitch uh, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. Let me switch over here. Uh, I'll bid you guys a Lola. I hope to see you guys in another video soon. Go ahead and check out some videos over here and here. Um, if you guys haven't followed the channel, feel free to follow. And uh, more content will be coming soon. Thank you guys so much. And I wish you, I bid you guys a Lola. And I'll see you guys in another video.